Hey folks, this morning we took another step in a paradigm shift, but to comprehend the total picture we have to go back to the previously prevailing paradigm. The gamma ray bursts from cosmic jets and what causes them is a big deal in the universe. Galaxies show these jets, and even stars as they are forming and coming together. Some stars can maintain their jets their entire lives, like some pulsars, for example. Meanwhile, others present their jets upon death and supernova, an asymmetric explosion that reveals the north-south line. Billy did this in our plasma lab some years ago, electric current to a sphere magnet, and there's the jet, and explosive instability. The gamma rays from these jets, regardless of whether it's a star or a galaxy, was always thought to be from collision, shock waves colliding with halos and each other and exciting the plasma particles to the point of gamma emission. But there is a better explanation, acceleration. In 2018, SLAC, Stanford's National Lab, demonstrated that magnetic fields in the jets fuel powerful electric currents that accelerate the particles to close to the speed of light which allows them to shine in those X-rays and gamma rays. That was the galactic side, and this morning we saw it at the end of a star's life. Once again, we're looking at the magnetic fields collapsing in the death of a star and accelerating particles in that way. Once again, this runs counter to the concept that nova shock waves are colliding and glowing. Once again, the answer lies in those magnetic fields and accelerated plasma. Now, while a seemingly tame revelation, this can actually rewrite the universe from a science perspective, the forces, the history, the timeline, and the future, not just for the universe, by the way, but for stars as well, including our sun. To learn more about the plasma cosmology implications or the recurrent stellar nova triggering process involving magnetic fields once again, but this time at the galactic level, look below the video in the description box. Whenever you're watching this, I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.